Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. The current U.S. inflation rate is about 7.5%. Now that's the level at which prices of goods and services have increased over the preceding 12 months and marks the highest such 12-month rate since February 1982. Now, multiple simultaneous factors contribute to that statistic, including supply chain snags, a shortage of truck drivers to actually deliver goods, and wages increasing in 2021 at the highest rate since 1983. But critics of big government say that major factor is federal government spending. See, last fiscal year, federal spending soared to its highest share of the total economy ever, at least outside of wartime. So the Inflation Prevention Act would disallow Congress from enacting legislation that would be projected to increase inflation, at least until the inflation rate drops below 4.5%. Again, as a reminder, it's currently at about 7.5%. The Senate version was introduced by South Carolina Republican Senator Tim Scott, while the House version was introduced by California Republican Representative Mike Garcia. Now, supporters argue that Congress's spending was a major factor that got us to this point, so it's on Congress to help get out of this mess as well. But opponents say that government spending levels actually contribute minimally to the current 40-year inflation high. Well, here's proof that inflation is currently at about 7%.